All right, we're back doing motion instructions and we're gonna go through, you know, making the robot trace a circle. I figure you guys can do the box and the triangle pretty easily, uh, but the circle one can get a little bit tricky uh, as we go through and make the circle. So what your robot should do, just gonna operate it here uh, in auto. All right, so it should come down. All right, complete the circle and go through. Oh, sorry, I didn't have it set right. We're gonna run it one more time. So it's gonna come down, trace the circle, all right? So you can kind of see in there what the circle looks like and the parts that you have to trace and go around. Okay, so we're just tracing out a circle, but the arc movement is what we're gonna have to take a look at and record, okay? So as we go through this, I'm gonna step through. I've already recorded. Uh, my program for you to see here as we kind of go through i'm going to step through each particular point uh, as we go through it uh, so that you get a gist of what you're doing okay i want you to always start in the perch position so we have the perch position uh, that the robot's in the biggest thing all right that i'm always very repetitive on is jogging and joint okay recording in world so I'm gonna go ahead and step through, all right, the program here. Make sure you got the key down below turned to teach, T1, and turn the teach pendant to teach one, okay? Now I'm gonna step through in world. I'm gonna turn my speed up here. So I have a perch position, all right? So that's my position uh, one on my screen here. And then I'm going to turn on step, all right? I'm gonna hit shift and forward, okay? So we're gonna have speed limits. So I have an intermediate position. Okay, then I go to the top of the circle. All right, the top of the circle is a regular record. So make sure that you're in world and you're gonna record your point as you see, all right? So the top of the circle, and if you can notice, I'm on the very top. There's some crosshairs on the circle there uh, that you're gonna be using as you do this, okay? So that's my point two, so I've gone from perch down to this point. Now I'm gonna move to the next point, all right? And as we do the circle, all right, you're gonna see the robot move around the circle. Notice on my screen, that's the C command, all right? So when you go there, you're gonna put the coordinates back to world. You're gonna record, you're gonna hit shift point, and then you're gonna move the cursor over right there, all right? And you're gonna change that to circular. All right, once you do circular, it adds another line there with just a colon, okay? So you'll see the other line with a colon on there. So hopefully you can kind of see my screen as you do this. The other line with a colon. So what you're going to do is make sure that you move the cursor down to that line, okay, when you record it. I'll show you what I mean. Let's move to the next point. So we've recorded at this point. We have to move to the next point, okay? We're gonna move down to the next point. Now, it's not gonna be an official point. It's where the blank space is on the circular motion. There's two parts to the circular motion. We have to create the arc, okay? So when we do that, on my screen, you'll notice it's not a point number here, or line number, I'm sorry, line number, but we are gonna create a point number. So when you get to this point, you should still be, you're gonna jog and joint, get here, convert to world, and instead of doing point, you're gonna hit shift and touch up. Notice even when I'm right here, the screen only allows me to do shift and touch up. So you're not recording a new point, you're touching up the arc right there. And then it's gonna probably default to five millimeters per second. I would at least bump that to 200 or it's gonna be very slow when you do that. All right, so we've made the first arc. And then what you need to do is put it back in joint and move it to the next location. So I'm gonna move it, I'm gonna step to the next location. So I had moved the robot here. All right, so the robot's in this location. And I record another point in world. I come over and I move the cursor over and I change it to circular, okay? Then I shift point I record the point that the robot's at right now. Now, the next part, it can kind of screw you up. If you try to just touch up at the next point, it may or may not work. But what you need to do is, it's just like the previous one we did. Notice there's not a line number. 
there's an empty spot we have to move to the last point on the circle so i'm going to move the robot you're going to jog it in joint record and world but i'm moving the robot to the last point over here on the circle as you can see all right and this is another shift touch up but make sure you are back in world when you do this very important be back in world uh, when you do shift touch up okay then i added another intermediate point here for exit so um, i'm gonna just move to that so i had the robot come here first and then i have it go to uh, a perched position so if you're looking at the numbers don't look necessarily at the numbers in the lab uh, because you're going to DECS fault based on speed but look more at the numbers i have here so i would like you to go 30 percent okay on those joint movements and go 200 millimeters per second on the circular motion okay so now check your program make sure and verify that it works i you know you'll have it in step so for you this is what it's going to look like when you're teaching it then when you hit step right it turns yellow up here and you're going to step through your program by holding down shift and forward okay and then you can bump up your speed a little bit all right make sure you hold down shift when you hit forward it's going to go through each point now if you have any errors it'll hit on the arc it's very important when you guys are doing the program piece on the arc that you are right on top of those circles you could get some errors that say that it can't make it or you're too far outside the arc or the points are too close together so you got to be very careful about how you make that arc if you're too far outside the little crosshairs your circle's not going to work nicely so i'm stepping through my program i know i'm not getting any errors because i've already run it go to my intermediate point return back to my perched position okay so then for you guys uh, turn off step make sure that you turn the teach pendant off turn okay key to auto clear any faults that you have all right and then the next step is to verify that it's going to run in auto now that might be too fast i'm going to bump this down to 20 percent here on the speed because uh, I don't want to get a DCS error right now, but I want you to still be able to see it, right? So once you've written your program, once you've stepped through it to make sure that it works, and make sure when you step through, you're stepping through in world, not in joint. And it's very, very imperative. Like, you need to memorize jog and joint, record in world, or you're going to screw things up. If you get, like, a coordinate issue, that means that most likely you recorded a point in joint, and not in world and you're gonna have to go back and fix all those okay so very common all right so uh, i might say that it's on a different line do you want to continue yes that's fine and then run it in auto all right and as you take a look okay it's coming through run and do the circle you can notice that the at symbol tells you where it's changing and what points it's going to but essentially this is what your program should do and what it should look like okay once again just to reiterate jog and joint record and world i need to make sure that i verify this program for you you're also going to do the box program and a triangle program i don't care which triangle you pick there's two to choose from on there so choose them all right but the circle one probably a little bit more of the challenging one once you get it down uh you'll be good to go once again you know in class ask me if you have any questions uh but there's being able to do a circle uh with your fanic